Can you make out the lane lines in this video here? Probably looks a lot like your drive today during the downpour. Tonight's 7 News reporter Marshall Zellinger is looking into what's being done now to keep you in your lane. Marshall? Eric, whether you can see them or not, the job of a lane line is basically to reflect your headlight back at you. As you're looking westbound on 6th Avenue, when it's covered by steady water or even right now in this construction zone, you can see these lines, but coming up a little bit, we found out that even the best material you can't even see when there's just a bit of water on the road. If you can see the stripes on the road, I could have used your help during the rain tonight. That water takes away some of the reflectivity of the striping that's out on the roadway. We talked with CDOT traffic engineer Charles Meyer about what we've heard complaints about, not being able to recognize lanes in bad weather when the lines seem to disappear. Some of the best stuff is uh, what we call wet reflective tape. We discovered only about 2% of the state's roads have this wet reflective tape. The black borders help make it stand out, and a honeycomb-like texture wicks water away. Why isn't the tape in every location? We just, we can't afford it. CDOT recently put the wet reflective tape on I-25 through the DTC. Compare that to when we shot this video in 2011, when the lines disappeared in the rain. In the locations where we do use it, it can last up to five years, but it's very expensive. It's about 10 times the cost of some of our other materials. CDOT spends more than 20 million striping highways in a year. Another issue you're dealing with, getting rid of stripes that used to exist. In the construction zone at I-25 and 6th Avenue, these ghost lines, where striping was recently removed, can be just as confusing as no lines. And speaking of no lines, this is just a little bit farther. We're just west of Federal, and there are absolutely no lines because the, gr uh, the road is ground up right here. Uh, so they got to fix that for sure. Construction crews are supposed to grind out those old lines, though, uh, to make sure they're, they're not visible anymore, but they need to replace them with real lines. For you out-of-staters that are wondering why we don't have those dots or bulbs as uh, lane dividers and lane lines, it's because of the plows. The snow plows will knock them right off. Reporting live, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News. And those plows will be out before we know it. Earlier this month, we showed you another way CDOT is keeping you in your lane. These LED lights are on I-70 near Floyd Hill. We asked why these aren't used in the city, and you guessed it, they are also expensive. 